I've been editing video for over 10 years now, and I wanna share four tips that save me time within Premiere Pro. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Corey from CNS Media, and today we're just gonna be going over four tips that save me time while editing. You know when you import 4K footage in a 1080 sequence, you'll have to scale down the footage for it to fit what if I told you you can get Premiere Pro to automatically scale your clips to the size of your sequence? Go to the edit window, go to preferences, and then select media. In the default media scaling dropdown menu, select set to frame size to have Premiere Pro automatically scale your clips to the size of your sequence. This tip is a lifesaver when working on a big project. While you're editing, have you ever adjusted each audio clip on a track in your timeline? Believe me, so have I. Here's a way to quickly adjust your audio clips on a single track in one go. Go to the keyframe icon and select track keyframes and then select volume. Now you can adjust the entire track volume with only one control. Sometimes when you're in a flow state while editing, it's hard to maintain the cleanliness of a project. You might be looking all over for a certain clip in your footage bin, but it's just bogged down with unused clips. Here's a quick way to fix that issue. Go to the edit window and select remove unused. This will clean up your footage bin and remove all your unused clips that you weren't using, and it'll probably make your project file run a lot quicker. But if you're still mid-edit and don't want to remove any unused clips, just select the clips that you don't want to see, right-click, and select Hide. They'll disappear making your project file look a lot cleaner and easier to navigate. To bring them back, just right-click in your project and select View Hidden. Don't you hate when you start opening your bins in your project file and it's so easy to get lost trying to navigate through all those open tabs? This is a huge pet peeve of mine and here's a quick way to fix it. Head over to the edit menu and select preferences once again. In the general tab under the bins dropdown menu, select open in place. Now whenever you open a bin, it'll only have one bin open at a time. To go back, select this icon. And that's it, there's four time saving tips while you're editing in Premiere Pro. If you learned anything from today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be releasing more videos in the future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.